So uh, in the previous video of uh, creating the Dacia, who wants to be a Dacia application, we've successfully um, created the user interface or the design view. So this is what we have so far. We have the form. This is what we uh, the program we will will look like or the application will look like. And I said inside this questions label, this is where the question uh, the question will be written. And then these are the buttons the user can click to select the option. And the options will be written directly on top of uh, the buttons themselves. So instead of A, B, C, D, the user is going to see the options. For example, if the question is, what is 8 times 3? Then you'll see the uh, answers on top of um, the buttons like 72, 64, you know. And then the correct answer would be among one of the buttons and the user can click on anyone to select his option and when he does that remember we have a hidden or should I say we have a label here it's not hidden per se because it's visible but um, because there's no text written in it right now that's why we're not seeing it but there's definitely a, a label around here that tells the user whether he is correct or he's wrong then finally um, this score label will keep the score of um, um, of the user. That's if if he gets a question right, he gets a plus one. So initially, his score is zero. He gets one, two, three, and if he misses a question, we just don't give him any points. So that's how we're going to create the application. So this is the user interface. The next thing we're now going to do is create the engine or what will make the uh, application to run the way we want it to run so before we do that let's just test run this user interface to make sure everything is fine so we're just going to click on the play button on top and you see this is what the user gets when he runs the application so questions going to be written there and as you can see if the user clicks on any of the buttons right now it doesn't really do anything because we haven't really written any code to do anything so um, that's fine uh, our user interface is done next we're going to start by um, uh, changing the code of what happens when the application starts so when the application starts we expect a question to be written there so um, to do that to write the code to ex for the computer to execute immediately the application starts you just you're just going to double click on top of the form um, another way is you can right click and choose view code but I suggest you just double click on the form because that creates an event handler so let's just go ahead and double click and this is the event handler I'm talking about this form one load um, event handler don't worry too much about what this is. Just know that if you want to write code that uh, that needs to get executed immediately, the program starts. You're going to write it under this it, that is within these curly brackets in the form one load um, event handler. Uh, let me just move this um, below it because um, I think I double clicked on a button initially so don't don't worry about this um, we'll take care of that later just I'm just moving this from one load to be above it doesn't really matter their order so um, we said we were going to need questions to be displayed but before anything um, I think the best thing we should do the first thing you should do is you should um, create all the variables you're going to need for this application so let's just go ahead and create um, a private uh, int score. For now, I'll just create the variables and I'll explain what uh, they'll do later. Um, and we're going to need a private uh, string uh, score. Oh no, it's going to be, oh, we already have a score. Uh, we're going to need a private string, um, uh, let's say question. No, sorry. <laughs> Let's uh, make it an int question number. Question number. 
so this will keep which uh, the the question number that uh, is being displayed on the uh, on, on the form and uh, I think uh, yes we're going to need one more thing a private string answer this um, variable is going to store this answer variable is going to store the answer whatever answer we were expecting the user to, 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 to select that's the answer to the displayed question so whenever a question is displayed its answer is going to be stored here so that when the user selects or chooses an answer we'll just compare it to this answer if it is the same then we know the user selected the correct answer if it is if it is not the same then we know the user selected the wrong answer so these are the three main variables uh, i didn't talk about score score is just going to keep uh, track of the user score so um, if the user has zero points we're just going to store zero inside score and then as the user gain points we're just be going to be adding the points to his previous score um, just keep that in mind I know um, some people might find this uh, hard to grasp as being that this is a beginners class but I'll try and explain as much as possible in the class so this video is just to um, get you to write the correct code and see the way you're supposed to do it um, so let's go ahead and go into the form one load so uh, the first thing we're going to need is we need the question to be displayed and the answers to also be displayed on the uh, or the options to be displayed on those buttons so um, we're going to need a method here I'll explain what a method is in the class I know all this is going to sound strange but we're going to need a method and the method we're going to need is load next question so we're just going to call that method that's um, what we at, at the moment you can see it's underlining it in red because I have not created the the method itself I just called the method here so next I'm going to create the method down here notice where I'm creating the method under it's still within this public partial class so within this curly bracket but it's under um, it is under directly under form one load if you have other event handlers it will be under them as well so um, we're going to go we're going to keep make it private so when you make something private is you're just saying you're just telling the computer that it is only accessible within its class within the class you're writing it um, being that we haven't really treated classes uh, I don't want to bother you too much about all these object-oriented terms but just keep in mind that private um, you have two uh, pos possibilities for objects and variables they can be private they can be public when they are public they can be accessed anywhere in your program but when they are private they can only be accessed from within their class so um, let's go ahead and write the method private load next question and what this will do we said is just going to uh, uh, display um, the question oh sorry I didn't give it a return type so you have to give it void it has to be void um, the reason why it's void void means empty is because it's not returning anything so a method can return something or it might not return anything if it doesn't return anything it is a void method I know this also is going to sound strange but just just try and follow and uh, we'll see if I can explain everything clear enough in the class so um, private void load next question and the first uh, question um, let's say um, uh, let's see okay we're going to get the questions label to display the question we want so questions uh, a oh, question number sorry let's set question number is equal to um, question number plus one let's say question number plus plus so this is same as incrementing question number by one 